Stevie, um, busy start of the week. Two two new lads in. Johannes obviously come in on Monday and Wasiri come in today. What what can you expect from Wasiri? Yeah, delighted to get Wasiri on board. Uh, big, powerful, athletic uh, defender. Can play primarily his position centre back and also fill in a right back in, if needs be, but a very good athlete, uh, strong, physical, quick and good on it on the ball. So delighted to have him on board. Has a lot of really, really good attributes and as I said, um, can't wait to start working with him. Yeah. Train today. Fitted in with, really well with the group and a yeah, good communicator as well also, which is important. I was going to say that. He was very vocal considering it's his first training session, first time meeting. That's a good sign. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want to see. Uh, football's the same anywhere you go in regards communication you don't need to know someone personally when you're on the pitch to give instruction what you think's right what you see in front of you so the more players we have like that the better so a huge part of the communication and delighted to see that out of him uh, as well as his playing ability this morning yeah will you be glad now to see the the, the window close on, on Wednesday yeah well once we uh, we've got sort of every sort of position and, and a squad depth that we need uh, it's like anything you're glad then once once that closes, then you're down in the main to just focusing on football till till come summertime. So there's always going to be a little bit of action before then. It's just a nature. You'd love to do your business really early before the season starts and really get set. But it's just a nature of football uh, circumstances of different players, different clubs, changes. And inevitably, it always goes down. You see it everywhere. It goes down to the wire. When a, when a deadline's around, it always goes to the to the very last day or a couple of days before before the window closed and there's a lot of business done then. The loan market was good to us last year. We, we had a couple of good lads come in, uh, coming that route. Yeah, like it's just the nature of the beast now. Um, obviously, the more players you can get permanently, the better. Um, domestically, there's a lot of players leaving the league, so a lot, a lot more clubs are looking outside the league and um, that's the market we're in, uh, as I said. You'd rather commit to getting permanent in, but sometimes the loan option is the only other alternative. And once they're really good players, for however however long we can have them, it's it's a good thing. If yeah. if it's short term, temporary. If it's temporary, and then we can make a permanent, whatever it may be. Well, if it's permanent uh, loan, whatever it may be, if if they can help Dundalk Football Club on any given day, any run of games. Uh, between now and the summer uh, if it goes between now and the summer and then until November we're, we'll be delighted so long as when they're here they can be of big benefit to the club yeah so looking ahead to Bowes and Daily Mint on, on Friday what, what's been the what's been the message you're trying to get across to the, the players this week look at we're disappointed from a result and after the first 20-25 minutes we're disappointed with the performance mm. last Friday as I said the players first game of the season doesn't define anyone no one ever looks back and says the turning point was the first game of the season. First games yeah. of the season, our first games of the season. Everyone's waiting it, everyone's up for it. And uh, sometimes they can be a little bit scratchy in that. You saw that with the the results throughout the league. Bowes obviously being the only team that won. Uh, every other game a draw. So uh, they'll be on a high, obviously, televised game. Go down to Cork, full house, get three points. Um, they're coming to their first home game, another full house. Uh, be a really good atmosphere. Daily Mount always is a really good atmosphere. We'll bring good support. So, really looking forward to the game on that front. Um, start of the game, especially the the this, the front end of the season will always be a little bit helter skelter. So it's up to us to stamp our authority on the game and get our quality out. And obviously to do that, you got to go above and beyond in regards to competing. Um, so game we're really looking forward to. Probably the first training session first day where we've had really good you can see we've had really good numbers on the pitch in regards more realistic um, training session uh, people up against each other people in similar positions up against each other a lot of depth a lot of competition for places so that's good going forward yeah obviously Declan Devine's come in as, as manager a Bose a lot of players sort of coming in I think they even signed one another player there today so what are you expecting from them well, they had a good performance, seemed to have a good camaraderie amongst them on Friday, they probably deserved the win, obviously bringing back Keith Buckley who's been there previous, knows what the club's all about, going straight in as captain will help galvanise them, so they've, they've, good at, they've good players, good attack and threat, um, and they've good options, they've depth in their squad now, as you said, signed I think uh, a centre back from Poland today as well, um, so they'll have good depth and as I said they'll be buoyed by their first win of the season so but we're a game we're looking forward to we've trained well yesterday and today and as I said well, I'm delighted with our numbers we're starting to get bodies back sort of a couple of new bodies in the building and hopefully a couple of more bodies returning over the next week or 10 days and then then I'll be happy from a depth point of yeah. view of our squad 
just finally you sort of touched on it they, it's, it's going to be a sellout they've put up the new stand for, for away supporters I'm sure our lot will make plenty of noise in there on, on Friday but it's got the makings of a really you can see in the open night of the league the attendances around the country being brilliant it's got the makings of another great night up there yeah I think there's a hunger for the league now there's a little bit of an attraction for the league a lot of interest in the league as you said the crowds I think right throughout the league were high Long may that continue. So now with the temporary stand also going up for away supporters, Daily Mount will make it a good good arena. Uh, there'll be a good atmosphere. Games you want to play in, hopefully the pitch, the surface is good. And um, atmosphere-wise at Daily Mount, it, it's always good. And you know with the temporary stand going in there now, it'll be even better. And it'll really look the part. So hopefully on, on the field will live up to the atmosphere and it'll be a good game with two good teams going at it and a lot of good individuals going at it.